Hey guys, Dave Worsh here. Don't forget to like and subscribe on Dave Worsh Pickleball channel. Appreciate everybody subscribing, hitting the like. I'm going to try to pop out some uh, more videos that are helpful. Uh, I was a tennis instructor and I did teach tennis and uh, I started playing pickleball also. And uh, I found out pickleball was pretty nice for working on my short game up at the net and, and reflexes are a lot quicker. Uh, when they do fire a tennis ball at me and stuff at the net. So uh, uh, please subscribe to Dave Worsh, the Pickleball channel. This one today video is about, uh, what I'm going to do is a racket review or a paddle review uh, today on uh, on my channel. Uh, we'll see if anybody likes this. This is uh, this paddle today I'm, I'm uh, just telling you about is a uh, Graphite uh, Z5. And uh, this is one of the first paddles I started with when it came out. It's a wide body, and it is a graphite. They, they make another paddle, which is a composite. And um, this one is wider. Uh, the handles are a little bit shorter. And, uh, you know, and I, when I first bought it, it had like, uh, it was like just under eight ounces, I think. And uh, when I first bought it, it had a review of like five stars, which was like, one of the best paddles to play with and everything. So I started playing with it. And then, but one thing I did notice was on the paddle, it had dead spots. So when I started dinking, uh, I would get a dink over and then uh, all of a sudden I would dink and it would hit uh, the edge or you know near the edge and it would die. So I never knew exactly uh, when I had to play a dinking game, I could never know how much power to, to use on the paddle because it was a dead spot and a hot spot. So, so this here I discovered for me, I don't hear anybody, but I call this the tap test. And uh, this racket was, it had solid spots and dead spot. If you hit in the center, it was good. But if you hit it in the corners, it was bad. So this is how I would test out. I found out instead of using another paddle in tennis, we would bang the strings. Here I'm gonna use the pickleball and you, you can hear by the sound because sometimes I can watch people play and I can hear the sound of their paddle in a dead, a dead spot and I'm like, oh my God, they're using a, a terrible paddle. And that's why they're having problems. But here it is, I'm gonna give you a tap test. Here, okay, so the center, you hear the sound? It's a very high pitch, and then it starts getting lower. And then you hear like a, like a little vibration. It's, it's, see that, that's a dead spot. Here's, an, here's another dead spot. That's not bad, but it's kind of a dead spot. But see how this is, so by control, dead completely dead so in order to really use this paddle properly you have to hit in the middle every time if you hit it off a little bit I'm gonna try to hit a couple shots here uh, and stuff you probably won't figure it out during the video but you won't figure it out during the video but I know I can feel it as I hit it you know that was a dead spot dead spot that was a solid spot that was a solid solid You know, it's it's not a bad paddle. I, you know, I'm gonna get a lot of people going, oh, I use this paddle, it's a great paddle. But, you know, you can tell by just doing this where the dead spots and the solid spots are. If you do the new the new uh, paddles now, they're 16 millimeters. I never did a 13 millimeter, but this one's pretty skinny for graphite, but people still use it. But uh, it's all right paddle if you're beginning. And if you're happy with it, then fine, stay with it. But this is my review of the Z05 uh, wide body. Uh, I would probably have to give it a thumbs down. Uh, I wouldn't play with this paddle at all. If I had friends coming over that want to play pickleball, I'd give them this paddle, and even if they're good. And uh, I have a more of an advantage because, you know, I'm not going to give them my good paddles, of course. I'd give them this one. But uh, I don't like the Z05 graphite. So uh, if you do try to do a tap test to your paddle, maybe you, uh, you can find out a little more. I'm going to do a couple more uh, paddle reviews right now. So please subscribe to the Dave Worst channel. Hopefully this is helpful to you in Pickleball. Thanks again.